Dear friends, everyone, first of all, I would like to thank APCM2019 for providing me with this platform. Let me share my new rule in solution of triangle and PCET calculator with my friends here. The objective of Peter Chiu rule is to enable us to solve some problem or solution of triangle directly, more easily and more accurately. Peter Chiu rule is not only suitable for engineering mathematics students, but also for high school students. Because solution of triangle is an important chapter of engineering mathematics and high school max, it is similar to calculus. Is also an important chapter in engineering mathematics and high school max. Gauss, sometimes referred as the prince of mathematician, was not the first to interpret complex number graphically. Jean Lobo Argon produced his Argon diagram in 1806. Then Caspar Wiescher has described similar idea even before the turn of the 19th century. But Gauss formally introduced the standard notation A plus BI for complex number and responsible for popularizing the practice. I think that Gauss first introduced A plus BI explained the relationship between imaginary and real number later than he shared his clear picture of the complex plane. I am also the same. I am not the first to find a new rule in solution of triangle. Before me, there are sine and cosine rule. Peter Chiu rule is the starting point of solution of triangle. After that, I will share my view in detailed description of solution of triangle. Peter Chiu triangle diagram paper will give a clear picture of solution of triangle. As mentioned above, there are two important rules, sine rule and cosine rule for solution of triangle. We normally use sine rule to find the opposite side angle given when we are given two angles and one side. When we are given two angles, B and C, and one side B, we normally use sine rule to find the side C. We also can use sine rule to find a non include angle when we are given two sides and a non include angle. When we are given two sides, B and C, and non include angle B, we can use sine rule to find the non include angle angle C. We can see that when we know the two angles and one side, we can use the sine rule to find the opposite side angle given. When we know two angle B and C, and also side B, we can use side rule to find the side C. Side C we get is 4.596. Moreover, when we know two side in a non include angle, we can use the side rule to find the non include angle. When we get two side and the angle, angle C, non include angle, we also can use sine rule to find another non include angle, angle B. But here we can know that angle B is equal to 27.36. However, sine rule is not suitable to find the include angle when we are given three sides. When we are given three sides, A, B and C, if we want to find include angle A, we cannot use sine rule. Or to find the third side when we are given two sides and the include angle. When we are given B and C and the include angle, angle A, if we want to find the third side, we also cannot use sine rule. This is because if we use the sine rule, the equation will have two unknown. And as we know, an equation with two unknown can be solved. You can see here, if we use sine rule, we were facing two unknown here. One, two. If we're using this one, also facing two unknown. One, two. If we're using this one, the same, we are facing two unknown. One, two. 
Therefore, we need to learn another important rule to solve the above problem. Another important rule is cosine rule. We can see that when we know the three sides of the triangle, we can use the cosine rule to find the input angle. When we know the three sides, 3, 5, and 6, we can use cosine rule to find angle A. And then we get 36.25 degree. Moreover, when we know two sides and the input angle, we can use the cosine rule to find the third side. When we know two sides, 4 and 7, and also input angle, angle A, 50 degree, we can also use the cosine rule to find the third side BC, and we get 5.385. In fact, for some problems solved by sine rule, we can also solve it with cosine rule. Let's take a look at this example. If we use sine rule, we only need to use the sine rule once to get the final answer. You can see here, if we use sine rule, we just need to use once to get the final answer. But if we are using cosine rule, we need to use it twice to get the final answer. You can see here, if we are using cosine rule, we need to use it twice to get the final answer. Therefore, it is easier to use sine rule than using cosine rule, which is why we need to learn the sine rule. However, when we know the two sides and the include angle, if we want to find a non include angle, the current solution, as we saw from the egg edition of the engineering maths book written by Zombert, we can't find the non input angle directly. You can see here from the engineering books by Zombert, page 248, okay, we cannot find the non input angle angle jack directly. Uh, if we are given x and y and include angle 128, first we need to use the cosine rule to find the third side first, okay, to find the y first. Then we need to use sine rule to find the non include angle, and then we use sine rule to find the non include angle angle z. The same is true for other sources cosine rule plus sine rule. Let us see for other sources. You can see from here cosine rule plus sine rule. Okay, another one. Cosine rule plus sine rule. Today, I want to share my new rule with my friends here. We can use this to direct find the non input angle. I call it as Peter Chu rule. As shown, tangent B equal to B sine C or divided A minus B cos C. As we have seen, it is easier to use Peter Chu rule. Just three steps. You see here, one, two, three. Compared to using cosine rule plus sine rule to get the final answer, which is one of the reasons we need to learn Peter Chu rule. In addition to being simple, accurate, and straightforward to find the final answer. Another advantage of Peter Chu rule is that we can visually determine whether the angle we want to find, such as angle B here, is acute or obtuse angle. Because Peter Chu rule uses tangent, and as we had known that, the tangent and obtuse angle will be a negative sign, and the tangent acute angle will be a positive sign. Let's take a look at the example provided. We see that tangent B is a negative side. It's negative 1.797. So angle B is definitely an obtuse angle, 119.1 degree. Let's look at the previous example. We see that tangent B is equal to positive side. It's positive 0 
So the angle B must be acute angle, 36.80 degree. For the solution mentioned now, we use the cosine rule plus the sine rule. And the sine, acute or obtuse angle will also give a positive sign. Therefore, we are not sure whether the angle we are looking for, angle B, is an acute angle or an obtuse angle. We need to use another calculation to determine whether the angle we want to find is an acute or obtuse angle. Let's take a look at the example problem. When we see sine B is equal to positive 0 0.5989, okay, we see the angle B is acute angle, is 36.79 degree. Let's look at the next example. We see sine B is also a positive side, positive 0 0.8739, but the angle B is an obtuse angle, 119.1 degree. So students are very easy to make mistake in the final answer. Let's take a look at the example provider again. When student gets sine B is equal to 0 0.8739, they usually assume angle B is 60.92 degree. The wrong answer. Now, let us look at the proof of Peter Chiro. As we have seen, cos B equal to A1 divided C. See here? Cos B is adjacent over hypotenuse is A1 divided C. So we get A1 is equal to C cos B. We let it as equation 1. And also psi B is equal to H over C. You see here? Psi B is opposite over hypotenuse. It's H over C. So we get H equal to C psi B. We let it as equation 2. And also tendency is equal to H over A2. Tendency here is H opposite over adjacent, H over A2. And from here, we also know A2 is A minus A1. So we change A2 become A minus A1. By substitute 1 and 2 into 3, by substitute A1 equal to C cos B, A1 becomes C cos B here. And so H becomes C sin B, H becomes C sin B we get a Peter Chiro. I agree with Agatha Stefanovic from University of Birmingham that mathematic proof is absolute, which means once a theorem is proved, it is proved forever. Until a proven though, the statement is never accepted as a true one. In my opinion, no one can claim that he created a rule unless he can prove it. Similarly, no one can conclude someone is guilty unless he has evidence to prove it. We know that through symmetry, we can get similar sine and cosine rule. You can see here, we can get similar sine rule and cosine rule by symmetry. Like sine rule A over sine A equal to B over sine B, or B over sine B equal to C over sine C. Also for cosine rule, a power 2 equal to B power 2 plus C power 2 minus 2 BC cos A. By symmetry, B power 2 equal to A power 2 plus C power 2 minus 2 AC cos B. The same is true for Peter Chiro. Through symmetry, we can get 6 Peter Chiro row. You can see here, we can get 6 similar Peter Chiro by symmetry. Let's look at the detail. Symmetry, we get the sine rule A over sine A and also equal to B over sine B. And A over sine A equal to C over sine C. The technique we have to remember is side versus angle. If the side is A, then the angle must be A. If the side is B, then the angle must be B. And when the side is C, then the angle must be C. Symmetry, we get cosine rule. A power 2 equal to B power 2 plus C power 2 minus 2BC cos A. B power 2 equal to A power 2 plus C power 2 minus 2AC cos B. The technique we have to remember is also 
side will be sine angle. If the side is A, then the angle must be A. If the side is B, then the angle must be B. Symmetry. We get Peter Churu tangent A equal to A side B or divided C minus A cos B. Or tangent A equal to A sine C or divided B minus A cos C. The technique we have to remember is also size versus angle. If the angle we want to find is angle A, then the side must be A. See, same as here, angle we want to find is A, then the side must be A. If we know that the angle is B, then for the denominator here, the other side will be C. If we know the angle is C, then for denominator, the side here will be B. So the technique to remember is fairly simple. The denominator will involve A, B, C. You can see here, A, B, C. A, B, C. So remember the picture rule just as easy to remember A, B, C. Let's look at another picture rule. You can see that the denominator is A, B, C. A, B, C. So another one you need to remember is if the angle we want to find is B, then the side must be B. If the angle we want to find is B, then the side must be B. Remember also side versus angle. This is the same. Let me give an example of Peter Churu applied to mechanical engineering. As we have seen, if we want to find the direction of resultant force, one of the methods now is that we need to use cosine rule to find the resultant force first. You see here, we need to use cosine rule to find the resultant force first. And then use the sine rule to find the direction of the resultant force. And then use the sine rule to find the direction of resultant force. However, the resultant value obtained using cosine rule is usually only an approximation. This is because the cosine rule involves the square root. As we know, square root a number usually only an approximation. You can see from here, here is resultant force power 2. If you want to find a resultant force, you need to square root 60.72. And you will get 7.792 approximation value. This is not exact value. After that, we still need to use the approximation value of the force to substitute the sine rule to find the direction of the resultant force. After that, we still need to use this value 7.792 approximate value substitute to the sine rule to get the direction of the resultant force. So the direction of the resultant force is of course inaccurate. As we have seen, the direction that we get is 29.45 degree. But by using Peter Chiro, we can direct get the direction of the resultant force. And we can see that Peter Chiro is easier and more accurate than using the cosine rule plus the sine rule to get the final answer. The direction of the resultant force is 29.44 degree, 0 0.01 degree more accurate. This is why we need to learn Peter Chiu rule. As we saw from the Zombert and other engineering mathematics sources. Now all use the methods cosine rule plus sine rule. You can see here, from John Bird is cosine rule plus sine rule. Let us see other sources. This one is mechanical engineering, also cosine rule plus sine rule. This one also mechanical engineering, also cosine rule plus sine rule. However, I believe that in the future, Peter Churu will be used to replace the cosine rule plus sine rule. 
Let me give an example of the application of Peter Churu in civil engineering now. If we want to find the degree of inclination of a landing tower, we need to find the true height of the landing tower first. Here, AC first. By using the cosine rule. You can see here, using cosine rule, find the AC first. Then use the sine rule to find the degree of inclination. Then use the sine rule to find the degree of inclination. But by using Peter's rule, we can directly get the degree of inclination easily and more accurately. You can see by using Peter's rule, three step only, we can easily and accurately get the degree of the inclination of a landing tower. Let me introduce two methods to use the current solution to get the exact answer that is the same as using Peter Chu rule. Method one is that we need to take ten significant figure. Let's look at the previous example. If we take ten significant figure, the resultant force is equal to seven point seven nine two three eight three three nine nine. Then we will get the direction of resultant force here, 29.44146394. The value is as same as a exact answer obtained by using Peter Chiru. You can see also same, 29.44146394. Same, exactly. Okay, if you take then significant figure. Let us look at the example of Cambridge Unity Press. The value AB is equal to 4829931 continuously. The purpose is to get a more accurate final answer here. A equal to 42.288 continuously. Cambridge Unity Press still use the cosine rule plus sine rule to find the bearing of B from A. We see that by using Peter Chu rule, it takes only two steps. You see here, two steps only. One, two. Okay, it's direct, simple, and easier to compare the method offered by Cambridge Unity Press. If we look at the previous engineering max book, usually only four or five significant figures are used. So the final answer will be inaccurate. You can see here for Zombert, here just you for significant figure only. Okay, you see another sources. Here also same, use for significant figure only. Another one. So you can see here, just for significant figure only. So the final answer so will be inaccurate because they are not using then significant figure. Let's look at the online calculator MacWater. MacWater use only five significant figure. You can see here MacWater also use five significant figure only. We use 3.8362. Okay so therefore if we use the method of cosine rule plus sine rule and use Mac Porter to help with the calculation, then the final answer will also be inaccurate. Another way is that we can use psi b equal to b psi c or divided a power 2 plus b power 2 minus 2ab cos c and all is squared. It is from the cosine rule plus the sine rule. But the formula is a bit difficult for high school students. And it will also face the problem of final answer is an acute or obtuse angle as mentioned. Therefore, using Peter Chiu rule is a better method. As a conclusion, now, solution of triangle has only sine and cosine rule. In the future, I believe it will be the sine rule, cosine rule plus Peter Chu rule.
For future research, how does Peter Chu rule apply to mechanical engineering and civil engineering? Just now, I already give one example for both, and I will still want to further research on it. And also, how does Peter Chu rule apply to geometry software? Reference as soon. For information about Peter Churu, yours can search Peter Churu on Google. So type Peter Churu and search in Google, you can get this one and click in, you will get the basic information of Peter Churu. Or search my Chinese name, so Yi De, on Google. If you know how to type Chinese, you just type my Chinese name, you also can get the information of Peter Churu. So click in, you can get the information. Or if you get this page, you just click in here. You can get the information of Peter Chiru. If you get this one, you just click in this one. Recently, mathematics has become a cheering course for students all over the world. Some mathematics researcher and educator have adopt different approaches to solve this challenge. One of the ideas came from our friend, Conrad Wolfram, teaching children mathematics with computer. For me, I think that a new technical tools should be created to help advance mathematics teaching and learning. Today's online calculator and max application, photo max application and calculator contain only the knowledge already stated in the book, such as the sine and cosine rule. Let us see the online calculator Symbolex, Mac Portal, and Calculator Suit. You can see here, this one is Symbolex, just law of sine or law of cosine, sine law, sine rule and cosine rule only. And here are same sine rule and cosine rule only for calculator suit. And this one for Mac Porter also say sine rule and cosine rule only. However, some area of mathematics today are still not complete, which lead to some problems in the field that are difficult to solve or cannot be solved. I take the online calculator Mac Porter as an example. If we use Mac Porter, we can see that Mac Porter can solve solve problem that can be solved directly by using sine rule or cosine rule. However, Mac Porter cannot solve the problem of using cosine rule plus sine rule as described above. You can see that Mac Porter can solve the problem sine rule directly or cosine rule directly, but it cannot solve if involved cosine rule plus sine rule. If you ask Mac Porter to solve the problem of using cosine root plus sine root, Mac Porter will show error. You can see here, it will show error. Okay? The reason is the design of the Mac Porter no have Peter Churro. If students face the problem in certain area of mathematics, but when they are apply some online calculator to solve, the calculator can't solve the problem, which is difficult to help students maintain interest and promote effective learning of mathematics. Therefore, there is a need for a new product with some complete mathematical fields to help teach and learn math in the higher education. This is the main goal of the PCET calculator. PCET calculator design plans to let its user have a direct, easy, and more accurate and complex solution. Another goal of the PCD calculator is to help students maintain their interest and promote effective mathematics learning by mathematics game. PCD calculator having specific complete area of mathematics. The PCD calculator design contains some future knowledge that is not yet covered in any higher education book today. 
some future knowledge can solve some problem that are currently unsolvable. Mm -hmm. Next, let's uh, take a look at the PCET calculator. This is the first page of PCET calculator. We can press the flashing logo future knowledge inside. We can see page week 4 field. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let us look at solution of triangle field first. We will see the full picture of solution of triangle. The complete picture of solution of triangle is divided into three categories. Knowing the two sides and an angle. Knowing the two angle and one side. Knowing the three sides. Let us look first at one, knowing the two sides and an angle. This page will divide into two categories also. Knowing that the two sides and the none include angle. The second one, knowing that the two sides and an include angle. Let us see two. Knowing that the two sides and an include angle. Let us Again, to knowing that the two sides and the include angle and find the non include angle. We see that PCET calculator will recommend to apply Peter Chu. Next, we need to, we just need to input information. Then press calculate. We can get the answer we want. Okay, we try some example. Uh, we let A is equal to 3, C equal to 5, and then angle B equal to 30. Then we just press calculate. Then it will give you the answer. Or we want to change the value of C become 6. Then you calculate again. It will give you the answer also. Or we want to change the degree. Angle B becomes 65. And we calculate again, also give you the answer very fast. Okay. If you want to change again, the angle becomes 75. Okay, you can see you also get the answer. Or you want to change the value of A to become 5. Calculate again, you also will get the answer. But if you choose uh, input in those information just previously in math portal, you will get error. You see, 3, 5, 30, you will get error. See, 3, 6, 30, also get error. 5, 6, 75, also error. Some solution of some online calculator today do not have complete answer, such as solution for the ambiguous case of triangle solution. Let me take the online calculator Simulac and MacPorter as example. If we use the Simulac and MacPorter, we can see that you can see here. Simulac and MacPorter provide incomplete answer. Simbolac and MacWater do not give another answer 123.56 degree. You can see here, they just give an answer only 56.4427. You can see here, just get an answer only. Actually, the answer is not complete. Then we see the PCD calculator. You can see PCD calculator give both the degree. So I emphasize again. One of the goal of PCET calculator is to keep user direct, easy, more accurate, and complete answer. However, today there are also some calculator that provide complete answer to this question, such as calculator zoom. You can see here, some is give complete answer to also calculator zoom also give complete answer. Next. Let us look at the relation rules and coefficient of the quadratic equation field. We see that the current solution has to be solved with different formula in different problems. You can see here. 
for different problem, we need to have different formula. Okay, this one. Let's see some example. Different problem with different formula. Okay. We see that just now previously the current solution can solve the calculation of small numerical formula. However, like this example, the calculation of the larger value like uh, 12 alpha power 3 plus 45 beta 6 of the current solution is difficult or impossible to solve. We see that the PCD calculator can calculate any value. The PCT calculator can also calculate the complex load problem. Let us see. See, for any value, uh, cannot solve by current formula, and we can use PCT calculator to solve it. Okay, we can use PCT calculator to solve it to any value. Okay, and we also can see the PCAT calculator also can calculate the complex load problem. You see, this one is for complex load. Or PCAT calculator also can get it. You no, know? like I is complex load. This one also complex load. There's no problem for PCAT calculator to calculate it. So the PCAT calculator had complete design. Let's look at the roots of the quadratic equation field now. We see some research on visualizing the roots of the quadratic equation, especially the visualizing of the roots of complex coefficient quadratic equation. Because here, let's place this here. For complex coefficient, because it involves three dimensions. So some research are doing on it. No frame also doing on it. However, after searching Google for one week, I only found online calculator Simulac can obtain the root of complex coefficient of a quadratic equation. If we use Simulac, we can solve the calculation of small value. Let us see the example. You can see Simulac can calculate for complex coefficient for quadratic equation for small value and sure PCT calculator also can calculate for it you can see the answer is same see this one also same see this one also same okay but for the calculation of larger villain like here 7, 8, 9 for Simulac is larger, sorry. Simulac cannot solve it. And when we see for PCT calculator, PCT calculator also can calculate the value. PCT calculator can calculate any value. The PCT calculator has a complete design. Let us also see other example. See for more higher value or bigger value. See, 78, uh, 1, 2, 3. For PCD calculator, also no problem. But for Simulac, already cannot solve. See others. See, for this one, uh, sure cannot solve by Simulac. But, but for PCD calculator, there is no problem. This one also same. See the number is already uh, bigger. Sure cannot solve by Simulac. And for PCD calculator, actually there is no problem. Finally, let's look at the quality search field. Today's calculator can only convert small value quadratic search into two real number. Okay, the Euler path is the part that cannot be calculated by today's calculator. Uh, today's calculator just can uh, do this one only. For others, they also cannot solve it. PCT calculator can calculate any value. 
all here can calculate by PCD calculator. I emphasize again, the PCD calculator has a complete design. I use the uh, online calculator Symbolex and Photomax as an example. If we use Symbolex and Photomax, we can solve the calculation of small value. Let us see the example. If we use the Symbolex and uh, Photomax, you can see they can uh, convert this one for a thesis to become sum of two real number. This one also same for Photomax, they can convert two for you. Okay, for uh, PCT calculator, so no problem. This one, you can see symbol like also can convert to for you. For the max, also same, it can do it for you. For smaller numerical calculation, they are no problem. And sure, PCT calculator, also no problem. But when you reach the number become bigger, okay, you can see that the symbol act also cannot solve. They cannot separate to two, sum of the two number, and also as same as photomag. They cannot separate to sum of two real number. But for PCT calculator, sure, there is no problem. You can see also for symbol X and photomag, they also cannot solve for complex number. They cannot separate to two part. See? And uh, we can see the PCD calculator can separate to become two parts. Okay. For this one, complex number, you can see for symbol X also cannot separate it. And uh, for Photomax, it's also you undefined. And for PCD calculator, you can see they can separate for you to become two parts. Okay. In the quadratic search research, I found a special situation. We see the value of square root 6 plus 2 square root 13 is smaller than square root of 12 plus 3 square root 12. But you can see for today's calculator, they can calculate for you for 12 plus 3 square root 12 become separate to real number. But they cannot solve it for this one. It's more smaller value. And as previously we know, Normally, today's calculator can solve small value, but they cannot solve bigger value. But this one is different. Small value, they cannot separate for you, but big value, they can separate for you. Okay? But actually, after I do a research on it, the reason is square root 12 plus 3 square root 12 can separate to sum of to real number. But, Square root 6 plus 2 square root 13, actually they are sum of two complex numbers. Let us see the proof. Square root 3 plus 2i plus square root 3 minus 2i, how to, huh? We will get this one, then simplify, then we will get 6 plus 2 square root 13. Then the power 2 put here, then we can prove. Actually, square root 6 plus 2 square root 13 is equal to sum of two complex numbers. This is why today's calculator cannot solve it. There is no problem for PCD calculator. Uh, let us see also other examples. See, there is no problem to convert to two sum of complex numbers. So, you can see also same here. As a conclusion, later research result from the PCT calculator. Uh, first, for complete field of solution of triangle, I create a new rule to complete the field. And for relation of root and coefficient, I create a new method. And uh, for roots of quadratic equation, I use new method and new theorem. Complete the field and for quality search, I need new theorem to complete the field. I have present some of my new rule and methods and already published in international book at some international conference.
I will also present my new rule, methods, and theorem, and mathematic game in Cosmet 2019, which was held by a simulacrum in Penang, Malaysia, from November 11 to 15. Simon is the Southeast Asian Minister of Education Organization, and Lexum is the Reason Science and Mathematics Education Center. Calculator Developer, Online Calculator Developer, and Mac Application Developer interest in adding my new special feature to their product. Please contact me plus 6019. 558-2192 Peter Chiu Symbolex raised 1.2 million to bring its unique mathematical search engine to smartphone and tablet. It indicates that Symbolex also agree technical tool is important to help advance mathematics teaching and learning. Finally, I hope that pure mathematics researcher, calculator developer, online calculator developer, game developer, and Mac application developer can work together to create a new product that will help upcoming generation learn mathematics easily and happily. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.